What's up guys, it's Sweets back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Ultra Client or a uh, fixed version of Optifine, um, which is basically uh, a better version of the Optifine that was made for Beta 1.7.3. And it's really good. Um, it has fixed version of brightness. It has an added FOV. It has a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how to download that and install it. So let's get into it. First thing you'll need to do is download the Ultra Client from um, the uh, description. I'll leave a link. And once you download that, I'll download it real quick for a fresh install. Um, and then you'll have to open up MultiMC. If you don't know how to install MultiMC, I'll show you real quick. So go to MultiMC.org. I'll just leave a link in the description. Um, and then download the Windows 32-bit, 64-bit. Save. And then um, it should download as a zip folder. And when it's done, we can open it and then basically just drag this folder to your desktop. I already have it there, but um, it'll launch all the stuff in that folder. You're wanna, you'll want to keep all the stuff in the folder. Don't delete anything, um, but just extract that folder in your desktop and then launch the multimc.exe once you're there. So I'm going to go into my folder and I have everything in and then I'm going to launch the multimc.exe. And then here we go. Here it is. We're gonna want to do once you have the multi MC thing open, hit add instance at the top left of the screen, uh, hit the betas under filter, and then scroll down until you see B 1.7.3. Make sure the type is old beta and the version has B in front of the 1.7.3. If you get confused with 1.7.3, it won't work. Um, make sure there's a B in front of it for beta. Then hit OK. And on the very, it should be the newest one. Then click that, hit right, right click and then edit instance. Go to um, um, version, hit add to minecraft.jar. Uh, go to where it downloaded, go to ultra.zip and then hit launch. And then it should launch the game with the ultra.zip uh, with all the shit inside of it. And then I'm gonna go options, see FOV is on there, the slider works. Video settings, smooth lighting, um, brightness, mip map, I mean, all this stuff you can change. Um, works pretty good. Uh, go to betalands.com. Type in my password. All right, so once I'm in, I'm gonna go escape, hit options, and then FOV. See, this is zero FOV all the way. It does look very different. Go to video settings, brightness all the way down. Actually, I'm gonna turn it to night. And then brightness all the way down. That's what it looks like. And then brightness all the way up. And it looks way different. Um, then we can go to video settings, better grass, fast. Uh, I'm pretty sure it makes, with the fancy grass on it, makes it. Um, I, don't, I don't actually know what that does, but um, we can go to video settings. We just have all this stuff we can change, like the animations. Um, we can go fire one. Um, do that. Uh, should be in here animations okay so when you turn the fire animation off I bet that would help your performance um, but yeah obviously it just goes to a solid texture and then video settings I mean there's all the stuff you can change sky clouds clear water um, but one thing you will have to change once you get the game open um, I think I'm gonna just I think I just crashed my game um, but Let's go to water. See, water's, water by default, if you open the client, it would be, uh, what is it, details. It would be like this, it would be clear. Water would be completely clear, so it'd be on default. So what you're gonna wanna do is turn water and details to fast. And then it'll just look like this now. You can actually see water. So um, that's all I have today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every link I showed in the video will be down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.